Hello, we are doing a physical exam in this little silver eh? that just came in after being a victim of a cat attack. As you can see, he looks healthy. He doesn't have any missing feathers. He's bright, alert, and responsive. He's very keen to get out of here, which is the case of a lot of birds that have been attacked by cats. He is even flying like crazy in triage to get away from us. Now we're gonna start doing a physical exam. Physical exams need to be performed by professionals. Without proper training, the birds could be easily harmed. Please do not attempt any of this at home. Our Ritan is here just checking his mouth for any signs of blood or internal injuries. He's checking her eyes just to make sure that he doesn't have any signs of blindness or eye trauma. He's checking as well the body score condition, which determines if the bird is skinny or if it has been eating quite well before the attack. Now we are going to check the wings. So we can see the wing looks healthy. Doesn't seem to have any fractures in there, which is good. Now we open under the wing and we move the feathers. And here we can see puncture wounds from the cat attack. Sometimes you need to blow them a bit to be able to see them properly. They are very tiny little wounds, but those wounds are enough to carry bacteria and disease that will end up killing the bird. That is why it's always very important that we take the birds to care after they have had any sort of cat interaction. Cat carry in their mouth bacteria that will harm the birds so it's very, very important that if a cat has been involved in any way, the bird will need to receive antibiotics and also pain management. A bite, as tiny as it can be, is going to be painful. So it's very important for birds to receive pain management. So now we are checking the silverite for other wounds generated by his cat attack. Oh, what is that? That's a puncture wound. It's directly into the chest and abdomen. The skin is open, that there's a bit of bruising, a bit of blood. So all of that is very painful and of course will carry a lot of bacteria that is important that we treat with antibiotics and pain management. So now this little guy is going to be in hospital for seven days so we can treat the infection and the pain. Hopefully after that he will be released. It is very important that we bring birds to care especially after there has been a dog or a cat involved. The feathers do a very good job by hiding wounds. And sometimes those wounds that we don't see are the most dangerous ones. So now, after the silver eye has been checked by our vet team, we are going to visit him in the hospital cage. So this is their paperwork. And as you can see, we have multiple silver eyes in this cage all that have been attacked by a cat. So this is the hospital cage of our little silver eyes. As you can see, it has some enrichment that they love. They have branches they can um, play with, and then they have food and lovely live bookworms that they love. Some kiwi fruit, some oranges, and a little bit of tuna nectar. During this time, they receive medication like antibiotics and meloxicam, just to make sure that the pain and the infection goes away. They are gonna be receiving vet checks every day as well, just to monitor their health and to make sure that everything is going smoothly. If you wanna support the care for these guys, please donate. It costs us about $20 a day to care for each one of these little guys. Hopefully, they will get released after their treatment is finished.